Ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look at the Aussie versus US dollar. Today's date is October 10th, 2023. I'm uh, going to focus on the hourly chart to start things off. Uh, in trading yesterday, the uh, price uh, gapped to the downside and uh, found early buyers against the 100 hour moving average uh, here in the Asian session and also in the early European session as well. That uh, support buying against that 100 hour moving average gave the buyers the Go ahead to push to the upside when the price moved above the 200 hour moving average for the second time here here uh, we did move up in the asian session here filling the gap from friday's trade the uh, buyers uh, re-entered and then uh, pushed the price above this swing area here between the 0 0.6379 and 0 0.6387 area uh, if you uh, take a look at the four hour chart and uh, look back at this uh, swing area right through here. You can see where it was developed. Uh, it goes back all the way uh, to August uh, where we started to have some uh, swing lows uh, here and here and here and here forming a floor. Then it became a little bit of a ceiling through here. Got a little messy through here before moving to the upside and then reestablished support against this area here, here and here three successive weeks. Use that level as resistance here and support here, and it tried to find support here before moving lower. And uh, in trading last week, the price uh, came up to that area as well. We did move up it to, uh, above it uh, through the employment statistics on Friday, uh, but then rotated to the downside in trading this week. Uh, initial resistance here moved uh, above it, and now we're finding support against it. So, so long story made short, look at all the arrows uh, in this area right here, uh, indicating the importance of the 79 to 87 level, and that's where the low price is. Uh, in trading here today found initial support going back to our hourly chart uh, if we lo look at the uh, uh, the move to the upside here we did also uh, move away from the 50 percent retracement of the uh, move down from the recent move move down from this high right here to this low right here 50 percent came in at 0 0.63927 so uh, swing area 50 percent retracement that's where support is now as long as the price can stay above that level the buyers remain more uh in control now admittedly uh this uh price action and trading here today is lots of ups and downs and and uh, we do need to get above the high price uh, for the day that high price uh, reached up to uh, 0 0.64325 if we're able to get above that level that should open the door for further upside momentum uh, another level would be the Less, less, the next highest level, which came in around the 0 0.6426. So 26, 33, those are the levels to get to and through on the top side to keep the buyers more in control. What we don't want to see uh, on the downside is a move back below, maybe even this high from Friday's trade, also the 50% retracement in this swing area. All those things would uh, start to hurt the uh, short-term bullish bias that we're seeing in, in trading, even though the price is moving up and down in trading here today. My name is Greg Michalowski with a look at the Aussie versus US dollar. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.